Hey, konnichiwa amigos. I'm here to talk about the topic of bullying in manga and anime. I've seen it pop up so much in the media that I just wanted to take a deep dive into it. Okay, so you don't need to be Einstein to understand that Japanese and US cultures are completely different things. I mean, for example, in Japan they tend to bottle up their emotions and uh, feelings for the benefit of the greater society. And nothing must compromise that, so that's where bullying comes in. And in many different shapes and sizes, one of the most common ones being avoidance. Now enter in the mangaka and the anime creator. They come breaking down those taboo barriers by literally being the weirdest people with the wackiest ideas. Okay, no offense to anyone that's creative, or to them, but they have to have been bullied. Like, have you seen the crazy stuff that they come up with? Okay, but if they weren't bullied, they have a high likelihood of seeing someone else who is bullied. Because, I mean, it's just pretty average in Japan. So, they either self-insert themselves into their stories, or they create some kind of characters putting a spotlight on the subject. Side note, shout out to Shogo from Japan. This right here is my favorite thing. Ever. He told the story about his personal experience with bullying, even though he was from the US, but naturally born in Japan. Honestly, after everything is said and done, I learned a lot about Japanese culture while researching about their cartoons. Yes, their society is not perfect, so you just have to take the good with the bad. Hopefully bullying dies as time goes on. But that's all for today. If you'd like to add to the conversation, leave a comment down below of your thoughts. And uh, I'll catch you next time. Bye.